My name is Stephen Ryan. Um, I'm from Green Woodwork, Ireland. I've been doing woodwork professionally for about 25 years or so. Whenever I got into woodwork originally, I suppose my inspiration was when my dad was. My dad was always making things in the garage and stuff. So from a real early age, I was going out into the garage, maybe about seven, eight, nine, picking up the tools and, and using them and stuff. And I even remember my mum saying that I never got a plastic tool kit, I just got a, a real tool kit, you know, and that was probably before I was 10 years old or something. So I, I recently had started as a, a church organ builder, which was really, really nice work and really, really traditional work. So it was really up my street. And that was just after I had left school. I didn't realise it, but I was always working in a dusty environment. And that dusty environment then started to cause issues. I was building up a dust allergy. And I kind of got to the point where I couldn't really be in those places anymore. So I went self-employed and actually and headed over to England actually to learn uh, green woodworking, which is more traditional craft really, where you're not using so much machinery and stuff like that as well. The term green woodworking really covers a number of different crafts. A uh, number of different traditional crafts, a lot of which have, have died out or, or aren't used so much anymore, you know. Um, the, the type of green woodworking that I would do would be wood turning, but it's on a, a foot powered treadle lathe, a pole lathe you call it really, which is a, a treadle lathe, and mostly making utensils, kitchen utensils and things that are useful rather than things that are decorative, and even small pieces of furniture, chairs, little stools and things as well. Um, and I'm quite interested actually in old Irish furniture, and the way things used to be made here, and little stools and old, what you call hedge chairs and sugan chairs would have been in, in, in most households and things, you know. <laughs> Primarily then green woodworking's using hand tools, very little machinery, using green wood. Okay, it's, it's in the name. So rather than me getting planks from a timber yard, which I still do use, I can also go cut a tree down, take the logs back to the workshop, and actually work with them green. And green really means with the, the sap still in the wood. And a lovely thing as well is the waste, the byproduct of the work that I do is all the waste wood and all the waste shavings. So the waste wood can be used to, to heat the workshop in the stove, can be used to heat the home as well. So it's, it's a nice wee cycle really. Uh, and then even whenever it comes to selling products, I'm selling them locally to people, maybe at craft fairs or they're just coming into the workshop and stuff as well, probably primarily my living, you know. Um, so all the products that they bring home, I'm able to tell them quite often that, um, oh, that tree was cut down in such and such a place, very close to the workshop. Even the beeswax that you're putting on it. In this area where my workshop is, there's also a beekeeping association. Some people will drop me in beeswax and I can make finishes out of that and stuff as well. So they're going home with the uh, product with the wood really close to home and even the finishing stuff that's that's been produced close to home as well, you know, so it's, it's quite nice and it was never designed that way for me. Although I do try and be sustainable and I, I don't like waste and I'm always trying to reuse things. I suppose one of my favourite parts of the process whenever I'm doing woodwork is with green woodwork, things are a little bit more organic. And if I'm using just logs straight from the tree and splitting them and things like that, um, you're going with the shape of that tree and with the shape of that wood. And if there's bends and twists in it, you go with that. So I suppose whenever I was a, a cabinet maker for a number of years, everything was very square and very well designed and, you know, and very neat and tidy. Um, with the green woodwork, and then I, I actually just enjoy now starting to make a piece of furniture without a, really a design drawn down. So I just start working with the wood. I'll maybe have a slight design in my head and then I'll just go with that design. And it's quite nice because maybe the thought that I had at the start ends up very, very different than the finished product at the end. And it's, it's kind of just nice. You're just getting, getting involved in the woodwork and just going with it, really. Well, if somebody wanted to start doing woodwork as a hobby, maybe, for instance, like I would run quite a lot of workshops here, all different types of spoon carving, stool making, chair making, wood turning, even tool sharpening, and even making some equipment that you would use more in green woodworking. Um, so quite often people that come in here, they've maybe no experience whatsoever, never lifted any tools in their lives whatsoever. Um, but the beauty with this type of thing is you come in, it's all hand tools, it's not machinery, and you can get going straight away and everything's quite safe and stuff, you know? So you can learn things from YouTube and all that, which is great. I find personally, I always enjoy going to do workshops with other people and learning straight from that person to find you pick up so much more. <laughs>